Okay, so we are recording. Is Christine on the call right now? You're there, say hi. Christine Hicks? Hello. Hi, you're here. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, just making sure. I am going to start. Um, yeah. Are you going to mute us? I am just figuring that out right now. Hold on. Okay. Audio. Right now, I'm not. Should I just do? You, do you need me to? No, I don't. I don't care. I just don't want you to hear me putting dishes okay, away can, or anything. Yeah, I'm going to mute everybody right now, and then we'll figure it out. Okay, mute all. Okay, perfect. You can all hear me. I hope. Otherwise, this is going to be a boring call. Yes, I see someone shaking their head. You can hear me. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start, first of all, thanks for calling. Thanks, Christine, for taking the time to talk to everybody. Obviously, you are finding success, and everyone is dying to hear what you're doing. Um, so thank you, everybody. Uh, I want to just start with some recognition from everybody on Team Inspire, the top volume and the top success club just so far this month. So I'm going to start with the top volume. And Taryn Finley, surprise, surprise, has... 2266. Um, Alexis Fields has 1398. Christine Hicks has 990. Patricia H Hausfeld, I hope I said that right, has 919. Jessica Bailey has 818. And Jill Sayward has 808. So you guys are the top volume so far, which is pretty awesome. And that represents basically retail sales, Shakeology orders challenge packs, your own personal volume. Um, the next thing I'm going to recognize are success club points so far for this current month. So Taryn, 68 points so far this month, which is crazy. Christine Hicks has 49 points already this month, which is also crazy. Alexis Fields has 24. Patty has 23. Jamie Mellon, 20 and Charity Thorpe Brasso, 20. So you guys are really doing freaking amazing this month. Keep up the good work, and that's awesome. So the way that we're gonna do this call is there was a pinned post in the Inspire group, and that post is where I asked everybody to just post their questions. So I'm gonna literally just refer to those questions, and that's how we're gonna move forward. So. I don't think that Christine Hicks needs any introduction, especially after all the shout outs that just happened to come naturally. She has recruited nine coaches in I think it's two days or three days. She has SC 49 and a high volume over the whole team of, you know, thousands of coaches. She's up there in the volume. And she's just a definite natural at this. And I'm sure she has a lot of really good stuff to share with us. So I'm going to pull up the questions first. I'm going to unmute everybody. Uh, Christine, what's your phone number that you're calling in on? I'm calling in under 226-919-6113. Okay. I'm going to mute everybody and then I'm going to unmute you. So hold on. Mute all and then... Unmute. Okay, Christine, can you hear me? Well, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. So we're the only ones that can be heard right now. Um, I'm going to start by asking, first of all, great job. You're doing amazing. You look great. You're uh, just doing everything right. Um, I'm going to, you can, I'm sure, see the questions too as I go through them. There may be some duplicates. If there are, I'll say we already answered that. If anybody has more questions while we're doing this, just go right into the Team Inspire group and post under the pin post at the top and I will get to it. So the first question for you is, or the first statement, I would love to hear more about how your Facebook page works, how to get it all started, et cetera. So if you can give us like a little summary of that. Sure. Um, so about three years ago, I started um, a couponing Facebook. Um, couponing in Canada, for those who are Canadians, um, we all, I'm sure maybe you even have the impression that 
oh, Canadians can't save like the people in the U.S. because of the show, right, the couponing show. So I started it locally here in my hometown, um, and it just it blew up in my face. I was, I was asked to be on the radio. I was asked to be on Toronto television shows. Um, I had contracts with Groupon, Wagjag, Save.ca within my first year. I just, my, my fan page grew so big, so fast because of people chatting about, well, how can we save money in Canada? And Coupon Christine was the person to go to. Um, so during that time of growth, I remained my typical jolly self, um, authentic and real. I answered questions promptly. I was sort of that person that you'd see in the grocery store and I'd be giving out coupons for people that needed, you know, they had diapers in their cart and I had diaper coupons. So people just knew me as a friendly person um, and it just grew from there. I think what happened was everyone wants to save money. So friends and family would see posts that I made on my couponing page and then share them on their own page. Their friends and families would say, oh, who is this person? And they'd find out that it was somebody local and they would like my page too. And it just snowballed from there. Um, I also ran contests. I am also well um, uh, sort of versed in local mom businesses and I approached a lot of local vendors and asked them if they wanted to promote their products. And of course they were like, wow, you have, you know, 15,000 fans. Of course we want you to promote us. So they would, you know, say, we're going to give away this X amount of stuff and they did this person would just have to come pick it up and it just sort of they people just knew me as being real and being honest um, and that really helped so fast forward to now <laughs> I decided I I had a couple things happen in my life I, I built a home and my daughter went to started JK and my son started school I also lost a baby between the two of them I just had a lot of personal things happen where my website wasn't a big priority. Um, but when I came back, I realized that um, a lot of the couponing had kind of gone downhill. A lot of the couponing was on saving money on junk food um, and how people can kind of become pack rats and start to hoard things. And let's see, who, like a contest to see who can get the most toothpaste in their house. And I just found that that wasn't the message I really wanted to come back with. So I started um, talking more about ways to save money on healthy food. And I approached a local business here in town that actually does home delivery of produce, um, local and organic as much as possible. And they offered my fans $10 off coupons. And people had to visit my fan page to get that. They had to be um, the contest and there was a bunch of other contests running with it, but they had to be active on my fan page. And with that, I then said, you know what, my next mission is to get myself healthy again. And I looked in the mirror one day and I was like, you know, trying to find something, Weight Watchers, something. And it just so happened my son early in the morning was up and I saw the 21 Day Fix on TV. And it just, it just clicked. I'm like, I got to do this and I got to share this with 24,000 people. And um, personally, I actually wanted to do it to be accountable to 24,000 people. I wanted to say, I'm on a diet. I'm going to lose weight. I'm over 200 pounds. This is ridiculous. So I posted pictures, I posted stories about my journey, and then within a week I had 10 people sign up. And then the next week I had another 10 people sign up. And then I had, I think the first time I actually blasted out a post, I shared Jamie's picture, and people thought it was me. <laughs> but I said, no, I haven't even started yet. But I said, um, I got over 150 emails that day. Um, I got tons of private messages, people pouring their hearts out to me saying they wanted to lose weight too and that I was an inspiration to them that they were so glad they saw my post that day and they signed up. So that's kind of how it all happened and it actually just started in May if you can believe it. Um, so it's been pretty crazy and I have a full-time job and I have <laughs> I have two kids, young kids and still doing this and so that's why you know I sort of want to remind people that this is doable with busy schedules and staying on top of challengers and I private message all of my my members that are active or not active really in my group and just check in with them and be real and be their friend um, and that really is serving me quite well in terms of fast forwarding to asking them to be coaches 
Um, so I don't know if you want to, I think the next question asks about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, wow. First of all, that's crazy. And <laughs> you're really good so far with the fix. So that's awesome because now you're able to share your own pictures, right? Which is great. And exactly. So it was a shock to me because I, I had lost about 14 pounds in my first round of fix. And uh, just I on a Monday afternoon, I said to my husband, I, I typically don't take pictures of myself. And actually, I had to really scroll through and find a bunch of pictures. The one picture of me holding my son was actually a picture my sister had on her phone. And I told her to never show anyone. <laughs> and I messaged her after I posted that picture. I said, send me the picture of me at Lincoln's birthday party. And she knew exactly what picture I was talking about. And it just, it actually hit me really hard at, at how awesome I looked. I was shocked. And now I have 24,000 people saying I look really good too. So that really helps too. Really incredible. Wow. Mm -hmm. This was a good move for you, I would say, for sure. And I think very soon you will not be having a different full-time job. I could like almost yeah. guarantee it. Um, I love my job, but at the same time, it, it's, this, is, this is consuming a lot of my life. And I actually really enjoy this. And maybe because my challengers, um, they, they're ready. Like they, they were like me where they saw my post and said, it, it, it really hit home to me that you're doing this and I want to do this with you. So it's, it's really inspiring to see them come this far. And when they lose 10 pounds in their first challenge and they're just overwhelmed, it's, it's such a good feeling. So. Yeah. That's the best part of this job is that you really are changing lives all the time. Um, yeah. And at the same time, you're, you know, have the opportunity to change your own life outside of just physically, right. you know, financially, which is something to be proud of too, in my opinion, yeah. um, and to be able to build a life that you want. You have kids. If you don't want to leave them every day, if you want to be able to be there every day and set your own hours and travel when you want and work from anywhere, you have that option now. So it's pretty yeah. awesome. Okay. The next question, did you sign up coaches right away with their first challenge pack purchase? If so, how did you convince them to sign up as a coach rather than just purchase a challenge pack? Well, um, I don't know if Sherry's on the line, but Sherry's my, my coach that I met. She's, she's local. She actually works right next door to me in the hospital. And um, I connected with her at lunch one day, and I'm sure she could probably sense my hesitation about everything, like all at once. Because when I signed up, I signed up immediately as a coach because I knew that I was going to bring this to Coupon Christine and my community and change, I wanted to do this. And I knew that I can do it. So um, I, I had a little bit of hesitation at the very beginning signing up those first challengers as coaches. So actually, I did not sign them up. I signed them up strictly as being members, being challengers with me, walking that journey with me and losing some weight. Um, and so no, none of them were signed up as coaches. Okay. Um, what I did was, uh, I told them because of my coupon Christine life and how most, some of my challengers met me through coupon Christine. And there's another question about, are they friends of mine? And, um, I would say about 80% are not, um, 20% are like my aunts in there. Um, some close friends on my personal page are in there, but, um, 80% are just complete strangers from coupon Christine. Um, and I said to them when they were signing up, I was very real with them because they wanted to know all the costs in, involved. And I said, you know, this is the cost. You pay this this month. Now, every, you know, um, business is in it for business. Beachbody is one of them. And they ask you to do home direct and auto ship. And I was very honest with them that I would contact them approximately one week before their renewal. And I would let them know that they were going to either get charged with, um, the full fee for the shakes, shakes for the next month, or they could decide at that time they wanted to just cancel out of them. And so that's what I did. I actually ran through my list um, the, the week that I got 10 coaches signed up. I went through my list of people that were coming up to their one month, and I just um, asked them. I said, are you interested in doing shakes? What do you think of those shakes? Behind the scenes, I had been pumping the shakes a little bit. Um, in my group, I post lots of um, yummy recipes of the shakes. Not too much, like I'm not, you know, pushing it that much, but I do talk about that. Mm -hmm. I talk about my energy level. I take selfies of me drinking shakes in my group. Um, I just, 
I remind them often that the shakes are a good way to start your day and that that really is helping you uh, stay on track. And all of them, except for two, said, count me in. I want those shakes again. I said, well, here's, here's the fun part. I said, if you sign up as a discount coach, there's no requirements for you to sell. But if you want to, that option is there. And you will get a huge savings on those shakes every month. And they're like, send me the link. <laughs> so um, really, I was actually shocked because I was kind of, that was my one thing that I was concerned about um, chatting to my challengers about is, you know, that next month. Um, because they had already put out some money. And I knew some of the, the challengers had said, you know, this, this isn't that much money, but it is some money, right? But I just, I just posted in my group tonight because I said that I was, I was invited to this call and I said if anybody has any uh, feedback to give me on the shakes, if they could let me know. So I asked them sort of straight up about questions um, were, um, how much do you guys attribute your success or weight loss to drinking a shake a day? And do you think the shake is worth that future investment in future months if you are losing approximately 10 pounds a month? And I said thanks. So I got, um, I have about 50 people in my group and um, I, had, I had amazing responses in the last two hours when I posted it. So I believe the shakes definitely reduce sweet cravings. I don't think this program works without the shakes, somebody else said. I'm sure that what, whatever's in it, but having that shake every morning just seems to boost my energy. Um, I have to agree, no more sweet cravings and I have the chocolate one too. I'm curious to try others. So people, I'm engaging people in conversations about shakes, right? But I think it's also just people are realizing that they're not going out and buying junk anymore. They're not going, somebody actually said, I used to go and buy a French vanilla latte from Tim Hortons every day during her shift at work. And she's like, and I would sometimes get a cookie. And she says, I don't do that anymore. So now my money that I spent there, I'd rather invest it in that shake. So we talk, when I'm engaging in conversations privately with them about being a discount coach, I bring up things like this that they've talked to me about. My aunt used to say, I skipped breakfast every day. I said, so how is that shake working out for you at breakfast time? She's like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've just got energy to go right through the day. I used to nap in the afternoon, now I don't. So when I start that conversation at that one month mark, I bring up these things. And I, I think that's part of just being real and knowing your challengers. Um, and I do that with every single one of them. I know their, their life story pretty much because I ask them for it. I, I introduce them in my groups. I say, tell us about your family. Um, we want to hear about, you know, how many people are you feeding? Because that's another thing. Uh, some people have questions about meal planning. So, yeah, I think it's, I'm really just, I'm friends with these people and they, they trust me. Wow. I feel like you are definitely found the right fit for you because. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? It's funny because my mom used to say, you know, you should work in like a car dealership. I think you probably could sell cars. <laughs> so now I'm selling something a little bit healthier than cars, but I'm selling something that I believe in. And, and that yes. really resonates. With and that's me. why and I, it's going so smoothly. And, you know, yeah. because you believe, and that's the only way this ever will ever work. And anyone will ever be a successful coach is if you believe in the product and your products are the product and you share yourself you know that's the yeah. most successful coaches um how many i'm gonna be, be honest as well there is some hesitation when i have to ask people to sign up and and get that extra month right because they've already invested the um 180 canadian for the first month and then the next month i'm coming back for more money so there's always that little bit of when i'm sending them a message i'm always kind of like i recognize that this might be a lot of money um, for some people, but right. I think going in it with a lot of these pluses of how are the shakes working for you, um, those types of things, it really serves a point when I bring up, but think of like your daily, what you used to do. Think about the number of times you stop off and get, you know, you would get McDonald's with the kids or whatever. Like I bring up things that I used to do too. Right. And that also was like, yeah, I did that as well. Like, Oh yeah, Tim Hortons. I'm sure you probably are also getting a muffin too, aren't you? So yeah, but I definitely feel a little bit awkward to ask them for more money for the next month. 
but I know that these people love the program as much as I do. So we talk, we, we reach a common ground with the fact that we both love 21 day fix. Right. And it's also not, not that you're asking them for money. I mean, really it's that you're asking them if they want to continue with this shake that's helping them. You know what yeah. I mean? But I get what you mean, but I'm just saying, how yeah. many coaches do you have right now? I think there's 11. Wow. And are any of them like starting to sell or anything like that? Yes. Yeah. So I have um, two that are um, actively selling and I think they both sold one each for sure in the last, like just over the weekend. Right. Um, the other ones are, I pretty much I think are discount at this point. Right. Um, there, there's a lot of people that signed up um, that have had pretty good results, but they're, they're, they were even hesitant on sending me pictures of themselves. Yeah. And, you know, maybe because I blasted my picture and said, I was that person that hid, hid behind a couch during a picture because I didn't want anybody to see my ugly stomach. I think some of them are coming around to, oh, I have a personal story to tell too. And then we start talking about, why don't you talk about it on your Facebook page? Why don't you talk to it, talk to your friends at work? So these people, I think, will come around to selling, but still really early. They, they have barely finished their first challenge. Yeah, it's when they're ready, if they're ready, no pressure. But you're close to diamond already, which is crazy and amazing. Let's go back to the next question. Do you, I, I think you, this may have, ever, yeah. Do you have a specific way of asking new challengers to become co coaches versus asking challengers who have already used these programs to become coaches? Are most of your coaches friends? Okay, you already answered that. So basically your strategy with the whole converting is waiting until about a week before their shakes are going to ship and then tell them your shake's going to ship. How, how are you doing with them? How do you feel? And then going on to saying, you know, there's this discount available. I'm just summing it up. Yeah. Anybody? Well, <laughs> yeah, because you know, I would actually, if I was, if I was just in somebody's group and I was just a straight challenger, I personally probably would get a hate on for my team leader if they didn't tell, remind me of that auto ship. And in Canada, it's there. We have quite a hefty shipping fee, right? So we're looking at over 150, 60 bucks for these shakes, right? And people knowing that they could save a little bit of money doing this discount coach thing, I think are respecting me a little bit more because I'm reminding them of that. Um, but, you know, I, I just think that it's being, it's just being a very good friend to be like, Hey, just a reminder, what do you want to do? Yeah. Um, yeah. And also these are people that want discounts and are in the group for coupons. So <laughs> they're the right market yeah. you want to see. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely are like, oh, you know your savings. I, yeah. I trust you on that. Right. Um, another thing that I should mention as well is typically a lot of my challengers, I know their weights, right? So I know how much weight they have to lose if they have their last 10. Um, there's a couple people that when I they first signed up, they were like, I'm really interested in a couple other programs. So I sell it also on the fact that they'll get really good discounts on other programs. Right. And I have one challenger who decided to not do shakes this month, but has just emailed me today to say, how much is the extreme? <laughs> so, right. so it's just, I, you get hooked. And I think these people, you know, this, this woman also is, she's always been really skeptical of putting things in her body and things like that. And she's like, it just, it just makes sense. It's the, the whole 30 minutes cardio, healthy, clean eating, and a shake that she trusts the ingredients with. Um, and she just, that's the thing that you also go back on is that it just makes sense. It's, it's not these little gimmicks of plugging in pills or, and I'm sure people are going to laugh right now, but putting saran wrap around your belly. We're not doing that here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's no sure. The people out there are laughing right now. So, so true. Okay. Yeah. Any tips on growing your likes on Facebook on your Facebook page? How long has it taken you to get to twenty k plus likes? Yeah. So I started in twenty twelve, and I didn't have very many at the beginning. And I mentioned before I was sort of immediately picked up by a local radio station 
that wanted me on Monday mornings at 8.15, which is like the drive to work, right? So <laughs> people would hear coupon Christine, coupon Christine, and people would start searching and finding me on Facebook, and I would remind them to find me on Facebook and all this kind of stuff. Um, but I also, like, over the years, I ran contests. I was also um, in a really large um, contest myself while I was running for a, a a position to be number one blogger in Canada and I was I placed two and or placed second. And just having myself out there a lot, even when I would go grocery shopping, my couponers were advertising for me because they'd be couponing and the cashier or the person behind them or whoever and the people in the aisle would say, Where are you getting all these coupons? And they'd say, Coupon Christine. So I had all this advertising. I even went shopping one day and the cashier's like, Have you ever heard of this coupon Christine person? I'm like yeah, actually, and I hear she's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's it's just, honestly, I have I don't really have any, like, um, secret formula other than I just was out there. I decided to do this mostly local in my hometown of about 400,000 people, but it's just grown across Canada now. I have fans everywhere now um, from east to west coast. But... Um, I don't know. I, I really can't tell you. And I, I mentioned this actually in one of my posts a while ago um, that when I shared Jamie's picture that I, over 20,000 people had seen that post, um, you know, come across their news feed. And I didn't pay Facebook a cent to do that because typically you can boost your post by paying. Mm -hmm. um, but that's very unusual for a blog or for a fan page to get that much activity um, because we all know how Facebook runs. Certain posts get seen, certain posts don't get seen. So I, I don't know if it's a combination of my writing style and how fun I come across on Facebook or the pictures I decide on or really just people visiting my site because I do post other freebies like free samples that have come out or get this free coupon for a box of cereal or whatever. So um, I, I really don't have a secret formula other than I just let it go and it just happened. So, yeah. Right. You have a different type of situation, really, than anybody else. Yeah, I do. I do. And I think that has definitely helped. Um, but I also have gotten a lot of my um, challenges from my personal page. Because I think we all can relate that our friends and our family will probably trust us and our results and what's really happening and what we purchase more than just a complete stranger. So I do have friends that did sign up, um, but like I said, I, I've had a lot of interest from my fan base on Coupon Christine. Do you recruit through your blog? I don't know if that meant, do you have a blog or is this supposed to mean you're a fan? Yeah. No. Yep. So I have, um, my website is couponchristine.com, and so that's my website, and I, I blog about couponing there. Uh, when I first started, I did do a blog about 21 Day Fix, so... Um, that is there, and I just talked about um, the program, the basic components of it, the cardio, the meal planning, all that stuff. I did one post. Now, I probably should, and I just haven't had time because I lead a very busy life. I should make an advertisement banner that runs across my page that shows me and my results and has sort of a click here to join because I'm sure that I would get a lot of click throughs for that. Right. I just honestly have not had time, but now that I've said it out loud, I probably will try and find time. But That's yes, I do. I, I would say most of my my um, my challengers saw my posts on my fan page, which is on Facebook. Awesome. Um, are your clients mostly people you know? You answered that. Where are these new challenges coming from? That you got some okay. You answered that too. They're coming from your page. Is your couponing page a like page? You answered that too. Okay. You said you work full time and have kids. How much time per day do you commit? To <laughs> um, you know, I, I think I, I personally think I invest a lot of time on this. Um, and my husband will probably agree. Um, and I've actually been chatting with Jamie um, a few late nights like around 11.45 saying, I almost have her. I know she's going to sign up, but I can't turn off the phone because I want to be there for her when she has questions, right? So, um, and it turned out she wanted to go talk to her husband about it, of course, right? And I was like, uh -huh. damn. 
And, it, you know, a lot of these people take a good chunk of time to decide sometimes. They're not just like, yeah, send me the link I want to buy. Yeah. Um, you have lots of questions. And I would say, um, because I, I also have a, a pretty busy job as well, that I am checking my phone um, a lot. I'm checking in with my, my challenge group almost every morning before I even leave my, my house. So this morning I, I took, or a couple days ago, I took a picture of my arm doing a, a little uh, um, muscle, uh, muscle, what do you call that? I mean, yeah. flexing. There we go. Yeah. And I took a picture of my arm and I said, hello, girls. And it just, you know, everyone liked it. And it was just sort of this um, fun post for the morning, just get people off to a really good start. Um, so I do that to my challenge group. And then throughout the day, I, I answer questions all the time. And I typically try and do blasts on my fan page when I typically will have a good two hours um, to be able to check my phone for messages coming in because I don't want people just sitting around going, okay, I asked her about the 21 day fix and I didn't hear back. I want, I want to answer them really quickly. So they're like, wow, this person's really engaged. I want this person to be my coach. So that's another trick that I do is if you ask any of my challengers, they will all probably say, if they were to fill out a survey about me, that I'm really, really um, easy to get a hold of. I actually have most some of my challengers' text numbers as well, especially the ones who who aren't really sure that they're going to be um, successful or they're worried about their um, falling off the wagon. Um, I will check in with them via text, saying, "How are you doing?" Like just sort of that check in um, with them. So I am really I'm doing this a lot. Um, if I were to estimate how many hours a day, I would say definitely over five, if not maybe closer to 10 hours a day. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. And I'm up at 5.30. I do my own workout at 5.30. Mm -hmm. um, I check my phone at about 5 5.20 uh, for any messages that have come in, and I don't usually respond. I just, you know, do my workout and think about, okay, how I'm going to deal with this today or whatever. Um, then have my shower and then from six to seven ish, I am just making my shake and also responding to messages then. And then my son gets up and my daughter gets up and I leave for work with my son. And when I get to work and I usually on my way, cause I walk about 10, 15 minutes to work and I usually am responding when I'm walking to work. So I really find a lot of time, um, that I, and I actually enjoy eating my lunch at my desk and answering messages as well. I, I really enjoy this job. It's really surprising to me that I really enjoy it. Awesome. Does anybody else have any questions about anything that you want her to answer? Post them. Actually, I'll, instead of posting them, I'm going to unmute everybody. Unmute all. If anybody has a question, you can ask it. Give it like a second. And I, you're putting in so much time now, but it's kind of like as you get in systems and stuff, it'll get less time. It won't get more time. And yeah, I feel nice. like having a system of like not feeling like you have to get back to people immediately, but you know, within a reasonable amount of time is better to keep your sanity just so that you can say like, okay, from 11 to 12 will be my respond to everybody time. You know what I mean? So you're not yeah. constantly feeling like you need to be on your phone and getting back to somebody and, and talking to them like as soon as they write to you because that will drive you crazy. We've all been there. We've all tried that technique and it will eventually be insane. So to set time, like a, every, you know, a certain time, like you wake up and work out, say five to five thirty, take your shower. I'm just making up, obviously this may not work with your schedule, but say, you know, six to seven, answer any questions and then turn the notifications off on your phone and come back, you know, at lunch for an hour and then when the kids are in bed or something, just so you don't burn out because you don't want that to happen because all this love you have will turn to hate quick. So we don't want that. Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions? Comments? Okay. Thank you so much. You really, I think, found a good fit for yourself and for your, it sounds like your um, coaches and your challengers are lucky to have you. Don't, you know, like I said, try and, try and manage 
your time so you don't feel like you're stuck and connected to this all the time. And obviously, if you ever, you know, have questions or anything, reach out. Thank you so much for taking the time tonight to talk to everybody with such short notice and everything. We all appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you so much for having me and for voting me in to have this call. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just so excited about this next phase in my life. And it's, uh, you know, like you guys, the, the whole entire team is amazing. So I want to thank each and every one of you guys. And, and there is a lot of support there, which I'm, I'm really loving and that's who I'm building as well. So Good. I'm so glad. And remember, what if you do get a team and you want to start training them, we have all the training documents and all that stuff, which I feel like is a big advantage all right yeah. good night thank you so much i am gonna stop the recording and post it in the group everyone cross your fingers this works have a good night thank you thank you Thanks.